Hey guys, welcome to Dan's Audio Reviews. If you're a first time visitor here, um, I just want to know. I just want you to know in advance that I do strictly audio quality, whether it's a wireless product or it's something with a wire, which this is like my kind of like go-to bag of wired, really good sounding buds. You still stick this in your ear, except now there's a wire sticking out of it. I know, I know. I really wish there was there will be a day where a wireless competitor comes out with sound equal to some of this stuff. But all this stuff, I'm going to tell you right now, whether you're an audiophile listening to this or you're somebody who's not an audiophile who just wants good wireless sound, I got to tell you that the AirPods 3 are not it. They do not bring the wireless game up to what you can find for the same price wired. This right here is $220, normally $200 on discount on a website called Drop. A link can be in the description for you. And these things for, this, for $20 more right now than the AirPods sounds just so much richer, fuller in the bass, much more texture around all the instruments. It's so much more interesting. And that brings me to the AirPods 3. These things are not interesting, unfortunately. Um, I love Apple products. I've got an Apple Watch. I've got a MacBook Pro. I even ordered the new MacBook Pro. I have an AirPods Max, which I actually really enjoy. I've got HomePods that actually sound great for um, speakers in the home. I like Apple products. I've liked them for a very long time. I think the designers really know what they're doing. I love the little mechanisms. I love the, everything is attention to detail, how this little flap moves. If it has just the right resistance and give, it snaps satisfyingly with a magnetic clasp or whatever. If it's in a magnet, I don't even remember. <laughs> or is it just the hinge? I like how it's beveled. I like the size of it. I like how it fits in your pocket. I like the wireless charging. I like the uh, seamlessness with your ecosystem, your Apple ecosystem. I love everything about it except the sound quality. The sound quality of these things is just too safe. If I could sum up this entire experience I had with this out of box in my ears, it was too safe, man. And that's fine. I think it's going to honestly be pleasing for most tracks, most of your music, and for most people. My issue with that is it's just too neutral. It's just too balanced. I, I'm not a person who, maybe people will actually like this. Maybe other people will like a more balanced signature, but there's not enough resolution. There's not enough clarity to make it sound technically special. And there's not enough tuning specialties that make it sound like it's separated from the pack of everything else out there. It, unlike its competitors in the wireless market, it doesn't have a lot of bass, which some of them pump up the bass way up because they think it's going to sell with the masses. To be honest, that's what they do. And the bass gets in the way of everything else sometimes. If it's too much, it bloats out everything else and you don't get much detail out of the other instruments and vocals. The beauty that's there to be had. With the AirPods, they have the bass enough that you can enjoy it, but it's not enough to get in the way. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing. But it's not enough to feel like it's taking a risk. It's not enough to feel like it's going to get something really fun and engaging for taking a risk. It just feels like it's there. And then the, and then the rest of it, the vocals, the drums, the guitar plucks, they're just kind of there. They're enjoyable enough. I can enjoy my music but nothing stands out as special. Nothing shines. When a female vocal sings, you don't hear the crystalline beauty, beauty of a female voice lingering with her notes in, with nothing else going on. In a, in a female singer acoustic track, you don't get that brilliance. In a heavy rock song, you don't get the uh, resolute and, and crystal clear clarity separating the space between the drums and the guitar and the, and the male vocalist singing in front of it all. It's just kind of all there together, separated enough that you can tell the difference, but nothing shines, nothing separate. It's just all just there. This is like the new definition of a B-rated bud. And I think that's actually better than most wireless buds, mind you. I would actually recommend these over other wireless buds because at least it doesn't do anything offensive.
that I found in some cases elsewhere. But I just don't enjoy them. I don't fall in love with the music when I listen to these. Hopefully, when they come out with an AirPods Pro um, release, those will be even better than the previous generation. But currently, if you, uh, you got to go with any recommendation for wireless buds, I would say s stay away from the AirPods 3 and instead get the previous generation of AirPods Pro that's been out for a while or get the next one when that comes out. Um, but it's a solid B. It's like, okay, but that's it. All right, if you enjoyed this commentary and you want to see more stuff like it, please like and subscribe, leave a comment, and support me on Patreon if you like so I can do more stuff like this and buy more gear. All right, see ya.